Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the New Era. My name is Armando, aka LA Wells, and this is going to be a continuance of the previous video, so stay tuned for number four. It's that crypto, 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 it's that crypto, crypto, crypto. So, uh, this, like I said, this is going to be a continuance of the previous video where the chick with the blue hair was kind of like, um, you know, I'm getting like people bullying me and talking shit um on telegram and they're talking shit to our people on our chat room and shit like that like i said in the previous video if um you know if you can hang like you should not just be you should not pay attention to those people that talk shit you know but let me go ahead and continue on with this video by the way because i've gone through lots of different ways but when someone so that's the same i'm saying on telegram it's very hard to find not to say it's not scary i'm not oh no no but having I'm taking res having taking responsibility for literally dozens of people coming to me for help and help trying to help them. I'm only one person. I can't be a one person vigilante, which I've become. I've been stalking my own stalker. <laughs> and but um, and it's been really hard. They they have a lot of ways to keep coming after people. And I haven't been able to stop it. So if anybody here, and I've come, I've been talking to top cybersecurity people, and they can't help. They well, can't stop it. Well, it's not their level. We're talking about the consciousness and the movement and, and influence and moving forward and ethics and and kind of the softness is like, how do we kind of release the, the anger? How do we fight back and go back and also maybe go into saying like, well, how do we train better citizens and better individuals? That's every time in, the, in every day of work I'm in is like, how do how do we have just people that are just better, not better to say like they're not they're yes no good good or bad I don't think good or bad exists it's a binary that shouldn't exist but it's how do we say like it's with the Kavanaugh example as well you know he doesn't have to fess up to something he may or may not remember but he can say maybe I have been involved in this. And maybe can give permission for other people too to start understanding small actions that we have every day. Humans react to things and we start learning. I don't know, I think I have a big wish for humanity, but um, I think there's accountability to be more to be more resilient within ourselves and have the self-knowledge to know that we can at least be accountable for how we're acting. Right, and accepting responsibility too, I think is a big thing. Like I, I again, there's a lot of trauma and it's come up a lot during this discussion. Um, but I think that we've all been guilty um, in some way, shape, or form, and may not even realize how. Um, but the biggest thing, just bringing it back to what you just said, because I deal with that a lot as well. Um, and I feel like when you're a strong woman with impact, um, you're often seen as a threat. Um, but this is where, I mean, just to wrap this up, this discussion, um, I really want to bring it back to the men in the room. Um, so, again, first of all, thank you for staying in this discussion because the last couple blockchain discussions I've been a part of, um, a third of the men have walked out and left. Um, so thank you for still being here. Um, but I also just wanted to say to the men in this room, like, you've heard a lot of vulnerability, and I think that these are also just ways where you can be a better ally. I have a lot of men come up to me just and especially after Kavanaugh being like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I'm frozen, like I'm devastated. What can I do as a man? And I think that obviously like what Fu just said, when you witness abusive behavior or abusive power, speak up and say something because oftentimes it is from another man and we can literally say the exact same thing, but if you say it as a man to man, you probably are going to get a much better response. So that's like the first thing I think is super helpful. Um, and again, like the second thing um, for the men in this room that are in positions of power, like. So what do you guys think after this um, whole kind of like, um, I shouldn't be responsible for taking care of so many people, right? Um, first of all, you shouldn't, right? Because you don't know these people. Or even if you do, I mean, everybody's their, uh, an adult and could kind of like deal with these things how they want to. I mean, everybody kind of takes, I don't know, I like, I don't know what to say. It's just like, dude, are you really 
trying to protect everybody from the internet. You can't do that. This is not from the beginning, from the dawn of the internet. Like this shit wasn't like that. I was like, you make a video, you do anything on the internet, you're gonna get backlash, including me. Like, I mean, you know, shit like that. And you know, at, towards the end where she says like, oh, thanks all the men for staying inside. I mean, the only reason why I was there was pretty much to document this whole shit because it was, it was blowing my mind that this was taking place at a crypto investment summit. And um, I do got one more video and it's the last one. It is the mother lord, the mother load. Um, sorry about that. So um, after this uh, discussion, right, uh, they did ask the audience if they won't have any questions. And they only allowed one person. And you guys will see you up on the next video. So stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Comment below. <laughs> Shit.